What is up guys? Greed and Pride here coming at you with another video. So you'll notice that my town's a little different. My last town, I was in the uh, middle of the second video and it ended up crashing and there's no saving during the demo. So that town's gone forever, which is fine. Part of the demo experience, you know. So a little bit different about this town. Now we have a trading post and we are trading pelts from hunted deer for tools and we're using those tools to upgrade our level one houses with uh, little gardens for extra food and we have two hunting camps instead of one now so those are the two pretty much big differences we still have our little market here we still have all these houses i actually found out that you can uh, make these houses half as small as i was making them before so that makes it look a little neater, neater. So right now we're kind of in a conundrum with our food, which is why I'm focusing on these veggie plots. Because these two hunting camps just do not seem to be giving us enough food. I could try to build a farm, but I just don't really have enough extra workers for a farm. And you can't go get these berries because in the demo you cannot cross these uh, little faction lines. So those berries are out of our reach. So only these two deer herds are the only thing we have for food. And they're both down to 19. So after this next winter, I think we're going to have to really focus on a farm. And hopefully we get some tools from trading. So we can get these uh, houses upgraded with a garden so they can make a little extra food. Honestly, you might just watch this town die. I don't even know if I have enough food for the winter. Two people there, two people there. Evan Sean down. The food Five stall. Down. Yep, the food stall only has a little bit of food. I actually found out that you can walk around as your character. So this is kind of cool. I seem to be trapped inside a house. It does say it is extremely buggy. It literally says, watch out, there's going to be bugs. So being trapped inside that house makes sense. I'll try to get somewhere where I can walk around. Here we go. So here's my character. It doesn't really fit my model. This is probably just like a uh, base character that everybody has. But still pretty cool. Walk around your town. See all your starving peasants be much nicer dressed than they are. Get out of my way. Who do you think you are? Do not phase through the king. I also figured out that uh, ox increases the speed of everything, so you need to start getting more oxes. So you attach them to this hitching post. But I can't, I think you need to buy them from the trading post or something. Or there's some kind of uh, animal buyer you can buy. There's like a sheep farm you can buy. But I don't know where you get the actual sheep from. But the oxes increase the speed of all your buildings being built. And your items being moved to storage. See, our food just isn't working out. We have two full hunting camps, and they're just not making enough food. I really need these tools to start coming in. I don't know if it's better to have more traveling traders or traders at home or what. I'll do one of each. Look at that little garden, though. That's gorgeous. You can see individual vegetables that are being made. I mean, come on. That's, like, crazy. Literally zoom in, and you can see each individual vegetable is different. Now, we have two quarries over here. We can make a stone mine, and we can make an iron mine. I just don't have enough people. I need food. Give me the food. So we have plenty of firewood. 
you can see here we have seven months worth of firewood so that'll get us through the winter easy but we don't have enough food hunt for red october except it's hunt for food Sheep farm. We're getting money, but it's not being added to my treasury. I don't know if that's a glitch or if something's wrong or what, but I've seen that pop up a couple times where somebody's bought a pelt. Look there, $4, but it's not being added to the treasury. I don't know if that's a glitch or what because I was watching Raptor earlier and he had like plenty of money in his treasury. He had like hundreds of dollars so they, his was working. People are starving. How do I reach these kids? Okay, so we just bought tools. Oh, so there must be money in this trading post that it's holding. I guess, I don't know. Either way, we just got tools, so that's good. So we can click on another house. Upgrade, so see, 25, you can get even more food with eggs, but 25 money is way too much money. It only costs six money for a uh, tool, so then we can make a vegetable garden. So now we're going to have two vegetable gardens. I'm trying to get every single house to have a garden, obviously. Because then each house can be, hopefully, giving itself food. Is there nobody chopping wood anymore? There's one guy chopping wood. Okay. Going to move a logger to a wood chopper because 40 logs is pretty good I don't know what adding people to the trading post does like let me see like if I take this storehouse and I add him to the marketplace what does this do what does the trading post do with more people I can make them all travel or I can make two of them travel and one of them stays at home maybe we'll see if that makes it quicker because I need these tools like now. I need these vegetable gardens up and running before winter comes. Or all my people will die in front of your very eyes. You'll all be witness to a horrible crime. It'll plague your eyes for years to come. That firewood is going down a little quicker than I hoped, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People are already starving to death. Oh, well, that'll call the weaker people. And then we'll have more food for the stronger people, hopefully. So we just sold a couple pelts. Oh, and we got some tools. Whoa. We have enough money to buy a chicken coop. Provides eggs year round. That's just free food, baby. Um, I don't, this has to be some kind of glitch or something or. And then we could turn this one into a vegetable garden because we still get the tools, nice. I don't know why it's not showing how much money I have. So the vegetable gardens aren't going to work during the winter. So we will have some people die during the winter. But we'll come back stronger. This spring, only the strong will survive. Maybe I should start focusing on chicken coops. If they give food year round. Because that's just like free food. Okay, so now we have plenty of uh, firewoods because half our town just died. 
Uh oh. Entire families are dying, which means we're losing workers. They are dying at an alarming rate. I have so much food production. I don't know what the game wants from me. I have two full hunting camps. One of my hunters died. That's not good. So take one of the woodcutters down. Just had somebody else die. It's okay though. These houses. These houses are now going to be providing food for themselves. So it should be a little easier to get some food. Maybe I made too many houses. Maybe 14 houses was too many. So we're back up to 11. We just gained a family. That's good. Nope, and we immediately are about to lose them again. Now we're up to 12. We just gained another family. There's some moolah. So maybe I didn't make these big enough. But these, some of these are big enough? I don't know. I'm still learning just along with you guys. We're all just learning. That's life. Winter's coming. Hopefully these gardens are going to be producing some food. People are starving. Wow, we just got $132. What was that for? Eggs or milk? I feel like eggs are more protein. So why do only some of these let me... I guess I'm not building the plots big enough. I could have swore I read online that you didn't need to build big plots, but I guess I do. Or maybe it has to do with the people working there? It's got to do with the size, though. I wonder if I can, like, upgrade these. If large enough has slots for extension. At least all these houses are making food now. You know what? Since I have all this money, I, we should be buying some food. Meats is what's cheap. Eggs are cheap. So we'll do import only. Let's just buy all the eggs we can, I guess. We'll buy, I don't know, 40 eggs, 41 eggs. That works. So now that'll help with our food too when some traders come by. We're still selling the pelts. We don't really have anything else to sell besides the pelts, which is a bummer. If I could keep a town alive long enough we could buy build a quarry and start selling some stone or iron let's see I wonder if I could just make this like slightly bigger nope I guess a house is a house I'll have to try to make the uh, next set of houses a little bigger so we can put some food back there. They're building another chicken coop, I think, or another garden, maybe. So I have one leftover worker. 
got to prioritize all the food. These market stalls are a little too hard to click on. I'm not going to lie. They should work on that. I guess you can just cut wood. Winter's going to be brutal. These gardens are going to die. So we're going to have even less food than we have now. But that's fine. That's part of life. It's part of the pilgrim life out here. I guess they're not really pilgrims because they're in Europe. But part of that peasant life. Neighbors died. It's not a big deal. Let's just zoom through this winter. We'll see if we survive or not. At least the people are still buying our pelts. It's a godsend. Definitely going to try to build a farm as soon as spring comes around. Probably shouldn't have put the trading post here. This would be a good farm square right here. Maybe I'll cut down all these trees, put them right here. People are dying. As far as dying goes, starvation is probably one of the worst. Three weeks of intense agony. The snow, she comes. Making some money off our pelts. We do need to keep some pelts. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to keep like at least 40 because you have to make clothes with pelts eventually, turn into leather. Uh-oh, winter time. All those home gardens are going to die. We just need we just need a few families to survive. We can rebuild with a few families. Now we have some food. Nice. So we have a whole year of firewood. We could probably stop at the firewood, but I don't really have anything else for them to do right now. They will become migrant workers, though, on the farm. So what do we want? Wheat, flax, barley. We need wheat. We need food. We'll put the farm over here. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Gotta hit that sweet spot of large. There we go. Then we build a farm. Oh, I need a tool to build a farm. Hopefully a tool comes by, the trading post. I forgot I needed to save one tool for the farm. Oh well. Part of being a new player. Brand new game. That was some cash. No tools though. We're running out of excess pelts to sell. I guess we could sell some timber. I mean, we have a ton, but I don't know what we're going to be building in the future. I could try to mine some of this iron and then make the uh, make the tool. 
but I feel like, ooh, that's a lot of money. I feel like just trying to buy the tool is better. Just somebody, somebody come by with a tool, come on. One singular two, tool. I've got too much time on my hands and it's taken away. Too much, too much. Yeah, we're getting dangerously close to not having enough pelts to sell. We need this tool stat. There's a little ox carrying a log. It's adorable. Good job, Mr. Ox. So, what would I need to build a tool? I would need to mine the iron, and then I would need to build the smelter. I would have to build this, and I would have to build this. Whew! That is a lot of to do. I guess we might as well get started. Mining pit. Connect this road. Why does I keep double clicking? Connect the road. We need a smelter. And we need a smithy. Why does it keep double clicking? I don't know if this is the game or my mouse. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so the home gardens are going to start working again. If I can get one tool, I can get the farm working. Until then, we're going to have to build all this and have all these people. I don't even have enough people to man it. I might build some bigger houses just so I can uh, have some eggs. Pantry limit. Nice. I'm going to pause this real quick. So I'm going to make these a little bigger. How do I change this to just one? Maybe I have to make it a little more, more of a rectangle maybe? There we go, there's one. I don't know if that's gonna be big enough to upgrade, I guess we're gonna see. So I need some people mining, and I'm going to need some people smithing. We're done with the logging camp, I think, for now. 56 logs seems like a lot. Oh, we're starting to get food. Nice. Still don't have the tools. So we got to get somebody working here. We got to get somebody working there to make at least one tool. We need to make one singular tool. So now we're mining some iron ore. That's good. Now we're, we're also banking some food. Okay, those eggs are good. Banking some eggs. Okay, smithy. So I just need one more person. Eight months of firewood. Granary. There. So we should be making one singular tool right now. 
Hey, look, we got a tool. Nice. Definitely need to pause this time because it's probably a little late in the year to start these crops, but we got to. Build a farm. Boom. Then these people that were making tools. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. You're all going to work on the farm. No more logging, which is fine. We still need these people cutting wood. Okay, so now we can... Uh, if a family moves in there, they can have their own uh, little coops. So that's more food. The farm's coming up pretty nicely. Boy, don't just stand there, you lazy bums. Idle time waiting. Oh, we need the wood. The ox has to bring the wood. That's right. Because this game is legit. Too legit to quit. Okay, we are building this farmhouse way too slow. We are losing all of... We have literally lost all of spring. We're going to have to have another winner of half our town dying. But all great nations started as a winner killing half their town. Almost done. A farm. So I am going to just literally, boom, fill it up as much as I can. Crop harvest starts in late summer. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to harvest this first set of crops, hopefully. Fallow Elmer. There we go. Can be processed into grain and then consumed as food or further processed into bread. Good. I think these people are just going to have to eat raw grain. I know there's like an oven here. So you have to make a windmill to turn the grain into flour, then you have to make an oven to turn the flour into bread. And that sounds like too much work. So I think my peasants are just gonna be eating. Whoa, is that a fire? I didn't know fires could happen. Like I said, these peasants are just gonna be eating straight grain. Handfuls of grain, they're good for you. Maybe we slow down with the trading post a little. We're running out of pelts very quickly. We're still good on firewood. Food is always a problem. We're getting up there though. These uh, little mini gardens and chicken coops and stuff are really helping out. I wish I could throw some more on. I should have uh, should have planned for that in the future. Made these houses a little bigger. I'm confused why this one doesn't. I mean, this one's just as big as all these. It looks bigger than this one, but I can't add anything to it. Nothing to it but to do it. I have all these people working the farm and none of them seem to be doing anything. Like... I don't understand why nobody 
Okay, now they're starting to plant, it looks like. There we go. Confused why that took so long. So they gotta rebuild the market area because it caught on fire. How are our deer populations doing? Okay, they actually went up from 19 to 20. So they hover around 20, that's not bad. Our food stock is going up. I knew I could do it. Thanks for believing in me, guys. We only had to kill half of a peasant population, but it's worth it. Making some moolah at the trading post for... Still not going into my treasury for some reason. All right, as soon as this food thing gets handled, we're going to have to start working on... Close. Oh, that's cool. Each little stage. So now it's growing. So this is going to take 67 days, and we're in June. June, July, August. Okay, so it still might be in time for us to get some of this grain. Our food supplies are going up instead of down, so that's good. I really, really wish I could upgrade these houses with some chicken coops. We're not able to keep any eggs in stock. I wonder if I should just buy all of these. Oh my god, why is it double click? Import, 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 import. Just whatever, man. I'll just do... Or I'll do like five of each. Whoops. Because I don't know how the trading works. Like, maybe a trader is coming by with bread and berries, but I only have eggs selected, you know? So there. Now, no matter what food they have, I will buy the food. Pantry limit reach. That's what I like. I actually need somebody to work in the granary now because our pantries are filling up. Yeah. I'll take somebody off the farm to work. It eh, probably isn't a great idea, but... 60 vegetables, man. Those little gardens are cooking. So it seems like you go, you start off and you hard go for these, for wild animals and berries, whatever you start with. Ooh, there's honey. And then after a while of getting those natural foods, the deer and the berries, then you switch to farming from your houses. You make every house big enough to have a garden or a chicken coop. And then once you get enough food from this, then you go to farming. I probably went to farming a little early. But that's no big deal. Those pelts are staying. Those pelts, dude, are just money, 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 money. Saving our life out here. Dare I say, I might be able to build another couple houses. I want big old houses, though. Two big houses, yeah. Then we can make some chicken coops. Uh oh. Why? What? Why did it just go from like sixty-eight day harvest to a year harvest? I'm not. I don't one hundred percent understand how this farming works. It kind of reminds me of RimWorld, where it's complicated but you'll get it eventually or kenshi god i love kenshi so much kenshi has the best farming of any game ever kenshi has the best everything of any game ever except for stability 
Kenshi just is not like running. Kenshi is angered by the idea of actually running smoothly. Cool. So we'll do a chicken coop. And then as soon as this one gets built, hopefully there's room for a chicken coop. There is. Eggs on eggs on eggs on eggs on eggs. So now we have 17 families, about half of which are providing their own food, which is good. Dude, I thought this was gonna be like the end. I thought I was like ready to upgrade these houses. I'm not even close. I still have to make a tavern and a church and an entire clothing factory. Well, the church is just a church. I can just put that down whenever. There actually, there's no requirement for the church. You don't need any people. You don't need any resources. It just has to exist. But for the tavern, you do need beer. And then for the clothing stall, you do need leather. Tannery. So I should probably make a tannery now. And I can make a clothing store. Uh oh, our food supplies are going down. Hey, we got some berries. I'm going to increase these f food. Just buy whatever, man. I'm just going to pump this all up. Just buy whatever you can buy. Literally any food I will take in any way, shape, or form. So there's a tanner. We can put two people in the tannery. And then I'll move one of them to the clothing stall once the uh, tannery is a little, a little done. If I had more people, I could start making tools because tools are expensive. I can make some serious money off of tools. Uh oh, we need more wood. I guess force an early harvest. Because the crops are going to die during the winter, I imagine. Yep, crops are already dying. So forcing an early harvest. Oh, wow. Nice. Can be processed into food and crafting materials. Oh, man. Is this grain not food? I actually physically have to make the bread for it to be consumed. Peasants are so needy, man. I would just eat the grain. So I need a windmill. And I need an oven. So the field is completely empty, right? Yeah. So none of those people need to be here. Does this work on its own? That'd be cool if that worked on its own. I don't really want to put a person in there. I need to get more ox. Dang it. All right, so two people will start making some bread. Or making some flour, and then we'll have some people make some bread. Literally, Kenshi is the king of like doing these little tasks. I love setting up like a task list in Tenshi. And just be like, boom, make the bread, boom. Make a sandwich. Cactus sandwich, delicious. Forget about it, man. Hey, we got some tools, nice. So I need one more person.
Yeah, I'll take one person from the tannery and make them into the... Put them in the oven. Make them bake some bread. So all of our pelts are almost leather now, so we'll have a lot less money coming in. But that leather can be used to make clothes, which is good. Actually, you just stop completely. And then you go to the clothing store instead. And now you can sell leather as clothes, I believe. I don't think you have to make it into actual clothes. I think you just sell it as leather. Distributes leather. There we go. Yep. Now we're picking up. Oh, here's my money. Oh. So this is my character's money. This is my oh region money, dude. Nice. Okay. I'm picking it up now. I'm a little slow. No biggie, though. I would like to just find $500. I wish I had $500 I didn't realize was there. We have survived another winter and now we have tons of food. We have a metric buttload of food now. Nice. So now we can last the entire next winter. Okay, now we can start working on some fun stuff. This is going to be a long video. I think I'm just going to finish it out. Because this demo's done in like a couple hours anyway. It goes offline. So I need to just finish this up. So I need to finish the demo. You got to upgrade these three houses to level two. So I need two types of clothing, entertainment, and faith. So we have to build a fox farm. Which I really don't want to. I'm just going to buy it. Hmm. What are the three types of clothing again? Oh my god. They definitely need to change that. Okay, that doesn't even tell me, so I have to come down here. Cloth, leather, and yarn. Okay. Cloth, leather, and yarn. Oh, I can't even breed sheep. Fox barley wheat. So my game just crashed again. No biggie, it's a demo. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to do a third village because the demo is about to be over anyway. But we were pretty close. We just had to get the clothes up and running and we just had to get the tavern and the church up and running and then the demo would have been over anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything specific. I'll play usually whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I know I enjoyed making it. Thank you.